The truth is that Governor DeSantis abused his power in suspending me, not in the pursuit of justice, but in the pursuit of politics. The truth is that this suspension was never about the job that I did. As the judge wrote, quote, the actual facts, whether Mr. Warren actually had any blanket non-prosecution policies, did not matter. The suspension was always a political stunt, a cheap trick to add one more misleading line to the governor's stump speech. The truth is, for the past six years, I've been a pragmatic, forward-thinking state attorney, both tough and smart on crime, representing my own vision of criminal justice and the purple county that I've so proudly served. But DeSantis and his enablers didn't care about the truth. They didn't care about our office's success. They didn't care about the safety of our community. And they didn't care about the will of the voters. They cared about scoring political points through a political stunt, period. From the day I was suspended, I've said that the suspension was illegal. And although a judge said he couldn't put me back into the office to which I was twice elected, a federal judge confirmed that the suspension was illegal. The judge concluded that the governor violated federal law and state law. He violated my First Amendment rights under the US Constitution by suspending me for speaking out on issues of public importance. He violated my First Amendment rights by suspending me because I'm a Democrat. He violated the Florida Constitution by suspending me, not because I'd done anything wrong, but because my vision as state attorney doesn't fit with his political agenda. As the judge wrote, and I quote, the record, does not the record includes not a hint of misconduct by Mr. Warren. The assertion that Mr. Warren neglected his duty or was incompetent is incorrect. This factual issue is not close. From the beginning, I've said that this case was bigger than just me. The idea that a governor can break federal and state law to suspend an elected official should send shivers down the spine of anyone who cares about free speech, the integrity of our elections, or the rule of law. Three core principles on which our democracy is built. When the governor announced the suspension, he stood up and proclaimed that our government is a government of laws, not a government of men. I couldn't agree more. The judge wrote, quote, if the facts matter, the governor can simply rescind the suspension. Let's see if the governor actually believes in the rule of law. Let's see if the governor actually is a man of his word. Let's see what kind of man the governor actually is. The governor is supposed to represent all Floridians. And if he wants to represent all Americans, then this is a golden opportunity for him to show our country what kind of man he truly is. This is not over. Thank you.